What's up everybody, Tech Chucker here, and today I've got another review, and this time it is of the Articulated Icons, the Feudal Series Basic Red Ninja by the Fwoosh. And I am so excited. I love this figure already just in the package. Now the packaging is a little bit simple, but that's okay. I have zero plan of keeping them in it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and crack this thing open and take a closer look. Okay, so if you saw my Deluxe White Ninja review, pretty much all of the articulation is exactly the same, but we'll go through this pretty quickly. So his head is on a ball peg with a hinge, and he's able to get his head to look up about this far, which is pretty good. I, I noted it should be a little more in the other one, but it, it really shouldn't. He can get his chin all the way down into his chest, which is awesome. He can look side to side with no problems there. And then there is a little bit of tilt. Not a lot, but there's a little bit of tilt in that head. In the shoulders, he has a ball hinge, and that works really well. He's able to get his arm all the way out to the side. He has full rotation of that arm as well. And there is a bicep swivel that works pretty good. He's got double jointed elbows, which work really, really good. I'm super happy with how this turned out. Actually, let's um, let's pop that bottom hinge, or the top hinge, so that it goes all the way there. There we go. That's what I'm expecting to see. And then in the wrist, he has a ball hinge. Those work really good. They are a little bit delicate, but they do work very, very good. Really no complaints with the articulation in the wrists. Moving into the torso, he has, I believe it's a double ball peg, but I really don't know what's in there. Uh, he's able to crunch forward a little bit, not not a lot, and then he's able to, yeah, let's see if I can get that to crunch forward a little bit more, and then he's able to arch his back a little bit more than being able to go forward. Again, you can see that little gap or that hole for the articulation but not a big deal. He's got side to side at this joint, which works good. And then he also has a waist swivel. So this is pretty cool. There's a lot of different options in the waist, which I'm, I'm really happy about. Mine, it feels like it's stuck. So be very careful. Again, you probably should heat these things up before you start um, moving them around too much. He's got T-jointed ball joints in the hips, and again, if you saw the first review of the White Deluxe Ninja, this is amazing. I mean, he's able to do the splits. I mean, this reminds me of Jean-Claude Van Damme, uh, if you remember that movie. I forget if it was Bloodsport. I think it was Bloodsport. I mean, this is awesome. This is That's just amazing. And he holds it, which is so cool. All right, so he's able to kick forward above his waist. Now... It, it kind of springs back, and my understanding of it is, is as you start using it more, it'll start holding that position a little bit better. But yeah, that's that's pretty darn good. I'm really happy. There's not a lot of backwards kick, although I feel as though he's kicking further back than the Deluxe White Ninja did. He's got an upper thigh cut, which works good. Double-jointed knees, those work really, really good. Again, it's the same sculpt. And then there is an upper shin cut that works good. It's nice and tight. And then in the ankle, he has a hinge. Works great going back, great going forward. Couldn't be happier. And then the rocker. This one's not nearly as loose, but it is still a little bit loose, which makes me a little bit nervous that it's not going to hold the position uh, for too long if I use it too much. But overall, the articulation, it's all there. Uh, maybe a butterfly joint in the shoulders would have been nice, but not not really that necessary because this figure is so poseable that you're probably not going to need it anyway. All right, again, they nailed the sculpt and the paint on this. I mean, the body, the body is basically the exact same as all the others. So we're really going to talk about um, we're going to breeze through a lot of it. The paint is different, um, but looking at this head, I mean, it's a great head sculpt. I think it's really, really nice. You can see the little seams on there. The eyes, at first, I was a little bit not liking the eyes being green, but I think they painted them really, really well. The camera doesn't do them justice. There is some nice color variation. Um, this is a very dark red 
and then there's some black I don't know if it's a wash throughout um, but they really did a nice job I, I again I love the sculpt work throughout the figure um, just the wrinkles and all of that is so on point. You can see the belt has some nice detail work. Uh, it looks like it's actually um, an actual belt, which is pretty cool. Let's see if we can take a look at that that sculpt detail on there. I mean, that's just so nice. They did such a great job with this. I mean, the attention to detail everywhere is so on point. I just, I'm really, really happy, and I love the paintwork. They did a really great job of getting some nice um, shading effects, which is great. I believe the shins are different. The shins are a little bit different from the deluxe, which is, is nice to have a little bit of difference there. Um, but overall, they're, they did a really great job. I mean, look at the hands. They sculpted the hands really, really nicely. Um, I have I have no complaints anywhere for for this figure i mean the paint is on point this little rubber thing it's a very very soft rubber which is so nice because it conforms then a little bit nicer to the the body uh there's a belt buckle here and then the front one and they painted them which is awesome so it actually looks like it should be on the figure as opposed to our marvel legends where they use a much harder plastic so when you rest it on it uh it basically doesn't sit very nicely Okay, let's do a size comparison, and this is the Marvel Legends MJ Spidey 2-pack Spider-Man, and you can see he's considerably taller, um, and then we've got Deadpool, who is even taller yet, but I still think that these scale pretty well with Marvel Legends. Uh, Deadpool is on the big size, or kind of, he's a little big. A little big, yeah. And Spider-Man is pretty big too, so they're not fully scaled um, with the Legends. I do believe they may be a little bit, a little too short, but, you know, still, you're not going to have to do a whole heck of a lot to get these to work pretty well with the Legends for different pictures or whatever. Um, Deadpool, yeah, he's, he's pretty huge, but overall, I'm totally stoked with both the sculpt and the paintwork. They did a great job on these things. Um, couldn't be happier. All right, let's talk accessories, the fun stuff. So the basic ninja comes with this little hood, uh, which is nice enough. It's sculpted fairly, fairly nicely. Um, it's not my favorite. I'm probably not going to use it all that much. But, you know, it works. It looks nice. Uh, they painted it very, very well. It's just not really my favorite. To me, it looks a little bit odd. I think also the color of red of mine is just a little bit pink. He comes with this alternate head, which I do like a lot. The eyes are painted superbly. Again, the eyebrows are painted well. Um, the sculpt is on point. I just love it. They did a great job. This little tail piece is sort of soft, not really soft, but um, they did a great job. It's painted super well. Let's go ahead and pull that off, pull his head off. Come on, there we go. So the, the alternate heads are much harder to put on. Um, the one that comes in package is much easier to pop on. These alternate heads, you really got to put a lot of pressure on it to get that to pop on. But once it's on, boy, it looks good. Let's see if I, I feel like I got some paint off, but maybe not. But look at that. I mean, that just looks so good. I They did a great job with this head sculpt. It's amazing to me, and, and I couldn't be happier. I mean, look at that. That just looks so good. All right, so then he also comes with this hood piece. And this one's not nearly as soft, but it is painted really, really nicely, um, sculpted nicely. It's got a lot more black wash on it than uh, than red, probably. But it looks really, really good. And again, we can just pop this off and throw that on and this is intended more so for um, the other head the first head that we had on there pop that on I mean that looks good that looks really nice I think I I don't know just these extra little details um, are very much appreciated I mean that looks great it's such a simple little accessory but it, it just looks so good alright so the basic ninja comes with these 
karate chopping hands, which we saw before. Uh, they're sculpted very, very nicely. I mean, they look like real hands. They've got the details. You can see the knuckles are sculpted. Uh, they are a very soft, pliable plastic. I don't think I've ever seen a plastic this soft and pliable, uh, but I really, really appreciate it. He comes with these two gripping hands, so you basically can hold all the weapons in there. And the cool thing is, is he can actually hold um, like a throwing dagger, which we'll show you in a bit. But these hands, they, the fingers are pliable, so you can kind of force the weapon in. And then he comes with these fist hands. Um, the pegs are very, very small. I wish that maybe they would have sent us with a couple extra joints um, just in case. But, I mean, this looks so good. They peg in really easily. They do pop off pretty easily, too, because they are such a soft, pliable rubber. Um, but, you know, you'll just work past that. Just get used to it. Speaking of throwing daggers, though, this throwing dagger is very, very nice. They did a great job sculpting it and painting. I like the handle. I like the little hole uh, loop at the end. And like I said, you can get him to hold this like he's going to throw it, which is super cool. See if I can actually execute this on camera. There. Look at that. How awesome is that? I mean, you're not you're not going to get a Legends doing that. All right, so he, he also comes with two swords. This is pretty much the standard weapon uh, that I believe most of the ninjas come with. They are two different lengths, and they are so, so nice. They look great. I love the metallic look. I love the little gold uh, paint accent, and the handles have just a great sculpt to them. Just superb these are so nice uh, I love them I can't say enough about them because they're so good and then the scabbards again they're they're sized appropriately they fit really really well this pegs into his back which then you can kind of rotate it so you can get just the right angle let's show you how that looks so you have to line up this little rubber thing which by the way the rubber thing can come off completely if you don't want to use it you just have to pop the head off and then slide it up over the head. But lining this up can be a little tricky. Once you've got it lined up, you can go ahead and pop that right in and choose what angle you want those swords to be at and slide the swords in. They go in perfectly, and it just looks great. Where did I put that other sword? Where are you? It's right in front of the camera, and I can't see. There we go. Okay. Okay. And I can't aim. There. That looks great. Drop my throwing dagger, but that's okay. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you is the alternate head, or I guess it's the, the old man head from the deluxe ninja. It does fit on this figure. And, you know, I think it looks pretty good. Looks decent enough. Um, the head sculpt is obviously amazing, but uh, that's the cool thing about this line is they wanted to make sure that everything was interchangeable so all of the figures can interchange with you know most of the parts I mean obviously if it's a specific color it's not going to interchange all that well but you know that's one of the reasons why I got the deluxe ninja was so that I could interchange so many of the weapons and accessories with my basic ninjas last but not least you get the accessory baggie which is necessary because we get so many little accessories with this you don't want to lose them so overall, I am super pleased with this figure. I think the Foosh did an amazing job. Uh, the sculpt is on point, articulation's on point, paint is awesome, uh, accessories are amazing, interchangeability, I mean, you just going on and on. This thing, These things are so great. These were priced at $37, $37.50, um, definitely worth it. I'm really hoping that they do open it up so that we can buy more because I would love to get some more of these figures. And if you have an opportunity, you should definitely get at least one of these because these are so cool. Alrighty, folks, I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, hopefully you had an opportunity to get these figures. So until next time, I'll see you guys later.